what to do if you fall into a vortex. In the movies, the famous scene where the ship is often involved in the vortex. In reality, when we go out to sea by boat, we may encounter a vortex. What should we do if we are involved? First of all, there are two types of vortexes. One is leaky and the other is not leaky. The leaky one has a hole in the bottom of the water. For example, when an undersea earthquake occurs, the vortex formed by the water seeping down through the gap. It is similar to flushing a toilet. This kind of vortex is very dangerous because the water itself flows down and once you are in it, it is difficult to escape unless you are a sea king. There is another kind that is formed purely by the flow of water. For example, the water on one side of the sea flows eastward and the other side flows westward, which will form a vortex at the junction. In fact, it is the water moving in a circle around the center. Water itself does not flow downward. Objects on the water surface are only affected by buoyancy. You may have heard from your teacher in junior high school that buoyancy is vertical upwards, but not necessarily. The water in the vortex itself is affected by centrifugal force. It is equivalent to the fact that the gravity is diagonally downward. At this time, it is reversed diagonally upward. This force, the vertical direction cancels the gravity. The horizontal direction cancels the centrifugal force. And the faster the water flow outside the vortex, the bigger the centrifugal force. So the surface of the vortex is not flat, but similar to the shape of a bowl. Its bottom is sealed. It is not difficult to escape. There are two methods. One is to swim directly to the outside of the vortex. But with this method, the force of your stroke must be able to resist gravity. Otherwise, it will be pulled back by gravity. The second method is to swim in the direction of the current, because your actual speed is equal to the speed of the current plus the swimming speed. As long as you are faster than the current speed, the centrifugal force will increase and then push you to the edge of the vortex, which means that after you fall into the vortex, you use the power of the vortex to escape from the vortex. In Pirates of the Caribbean, this is how the Black Pearl came out. Can you think of any better way?